Hi everybody and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to try out the Koinor Hardmouth Magic Pencils. And uh, this box was given to me by Koinor, so I can try this out uh, to the local shop. The person in the local shop where I always go to made me in contact with a representative of Koinor. So I got this box and I want to get to know them of course. So first I will do an unboxing for you and uh, let you know what do I see. Now first the box comes in uh, a paper. So that's nice and of course you have your series number so you know you have the real thing and not some kind of phony. And let's take that off. Well, here is the box. Just magnificent, isn't it? A lovely uh, print on it. Magic multicolored pencils, three in one. 23 plus one pencils, so 24. And they call it this because the number one, the white, uh, does not really have uh, that much color in them. And you can use it as a blender. So I think that is why they uh, took uh, 23 plus one. And what I see is that they use good wood and also that the pencils will be triangled with a diameter of 5.6 millimeters. So that's quite thick. Tip it around. Here there are some more prints here. There are some example drawings. Very nice. And this is fun because uh, each color they have given a name. But uh, you will see uh, later that the pencils also have numbers, so if you run out of them, you can just order them. But it's funny how, uh, how they got they, those names, so let's get a quick glance inside. Now, this is the lid, so I'm taking this off. And yes, here is the guarantee. So should you have a pencil uh, that is constantly breaking or ha has uh, little stones in them or something, you can always send that back and get a new pencil. That's a really uh, a, a guarantee certificate. And here is a little folder. It's an English German stick with the English, of course. Uh, here you can see that they have done a little bit of scratching you so you can see the colors of each every pencil and here are some tips uh, how to use them but of course we will just go give them a try ourselves of course but it's always nice to have some uh, tips so let's put these aside now let's look at this yes they're all numbered as you can see and it's a nice range of yellows, reds, blues, then it goes to green and to brown and a gray one. So no black there. And this is the burner that they were talking about. Yeah, they're really triangle shaped. We will have to get start working on them. And the first thing I always do is start sharpening them and shaping them into my form. That is what we're first going to do. Oh, there's another nice thing. The lid is uh, loose from the box. And I like this a lot because uh, I have some uh, boxes that have uh, here. They are connected here and then you have to flip them over and it takes a lot of space. Now with this lid, I simply slid that under when I start drawing and then I don't, uh, it's not in the way, I don't lose it. I love that. I'm itchy to get started. Well, the first thing that I always do is to get my pencils into the Lineker line shape. So uh, when I buy or in this case get a box with new pencils, I want to shape them into a good starting form and you can see it here I already did the white one for my Dutch viewers and this is quite a difference between how they come in the box and how I shape them now I don't know if you use a, a pencil sharpener to sharpen your pencils 
I never do except for my Kohinoor Hard Mood Pencil Eraser and I use a 45 cent sharpener for this and this is because uh, these are the only pencils that will not sharpen with a knife very easily so I use a very cheap pencil sharpener for this so I love these pencil erasers by the way please buy them they are so amazing now I have a pencil sharpener with two entrances a big one and a small one but as you can see uh, even the big one here for this one does not fit in so that would not work this one neither I can't even get in there as you can see I think they will have uh, special sharpeners for them but I do not bother because I always sharpen my pencils with a very sharp knife okay how to do this very easy I did a, a tutorial on sharpening your pastel pencils but it's the same for these big ones what I do is first I make sure to get rid of the wood like this so that's quite a big stretch there about two centimeters in this case because they are very thick pencils and then I work my way down to the lead itself and what you get is a longer point and you can sharpen that all the way down till you get a fine nice tip and then it's ready for action so I put a tip in last and there you have it ready for action that's number two I have 22 more to do I will not bother you with that and this is the mess that I made people these are the sharp points that I'm talking about. So now that my pencils are sharpened, I did some well tryouts. This is done on a folia, white drawing paper. And just to see what they do is, well, I've taken some of the pencils, I'll put them aside here. And what I noticed is uh, that they are triangled for a reason because when you start rendering you can go like this and then you can actually flip it one time and then you see you get another color you can flip it again <laughs> and then the cat comes around that is uh, actually very nice that you can uh, remember where you put it so flip it around and then start seeing what it does of course you can also cross hatch of course and then you get to see the actual color that is inside so I think that is why they have put this in a triangle form very nice indeed then I started to take some gray. So I will be doing some on white, some drawing some white paper, but I also wanted to test it this on gray Canson pastel paper. And you can see that this is quite amazing what kind of colors you get out. And also then of course you can, I will just pick one here, start making bigger areas. And maybe flip it around one angle and see what happens flip it around one more time so this one contains indeed yellow a darker blue and a mid green very nice indeed then I started drawing a little bit and what you can even do is maybe you uh, love hand lettering it's also nice to do some writing with it you get all those kinds of colors and here I was drawing some some balls and see what happened I noticed that they also have these colors now these don't come in that box 
as you can see. Also, they are hexagonal, I think you call it, six corners on them. And these have contradicting colors. This one even has white, blue and red in it. So these are magic pencils by Koinor 2. They're quite nice. So I did some hand lettering with it. And also you can try out what happens if you use that on the gray. Now what's also very nice is to combine it with white pastel pencil. So you put in a little bit of white on the under layer of your drawing. And then, for instance, I take this one, start going over it. And then this actually start blending together. And you can see it's much brighter than when you do not put in a little bit of white chalk underneath. So this is with the white chalk and this is without. You can see how bright it gets. I have here a hand letter book with all kinds of white, brown, black paper. And then I started to draw in a soap bubble. I loved it. So I put in a little bit of that white chalk underneath and then go over it with the magic pencils. And I also did a little bit of hand lettering. I am not good at that, but it just is very nice. Look at this. I tested it on black paper, of course. So I took each and every pencil and started to watch what that does. So that's quite amazing. And I draw this Japanese fighting fish with a little bit of white underneath and then putting in a little bit of this fellow here over that white pastel. And I just loved it. I loved it so much. So what I want to do with you is, uh, oh here I did a jellyfish. Look at it, it just, it's like it's, it's glowing in the dark. And I did this all with white pastel pencil. Any kind you have is okay. And then going over it with the magic pencils. So as a demonstration, I will uh, draw this jellyfish with you. Well, we will see what happens. For this drawing, you can use uh, your standard white uh, or color pencils, but I'm using the white parcel pencil because the white parcel really brings out the colors, but your standard color uh, pencils will do too. And what I thought was so nice about drawing a jellyfish is that you can actually draw uh, different kinds of shapes. So you can make a, a sphere and you can also draw in lines and some uh, distant jellyfish way in the back. And this is an ideal way of starting to try out your new pencils or any kind of drawing material you may pur purchase. Because, um, well, it's okay to uh, make those uh, little squares first and try out your uh, material, but it's also very nice to take a, a simple object like a, a jellyfish and then you have a subject to start trying out your material. So any kind of material you will try and buy, uh, this is a great way to get acquainted to them. What you see me doing is putting in some dots and some water surface. And here I'm using my blender stick to ease down the pigments into the black canson pastel paper. Then I start with my Koinor magic pencils just to see what they do. Now on my Patreon page I will be doing this in real time 
and I hope next week to make that Japanese fighting fish and study a little bit more with these nice pencils but as a pure demonstration here on YouTube you can see me uh, doing these nice jellyfish and here I'm adding some black to uh, get a little bit of uh, the views and lights and darks so um, please combine them with your other color pencils and try out what this material does for you so maybe I will see you on my Patreon page where there are a lot of prints and extra tips for you and you have your own academy at home. I hope you enjoyed this uh, well unboxing if you like and give this uh, video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and of course I will see you again next Friday. <laughs>